So I think we do Barbarian first? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Because... I don't know. I don't really have a preference. I suppose. It is. The, it is at the top of the list. Yeah, it is. It is definitely at the top of the. God, this fucking camp. And remember, there are still three romance things. Yeah, but we we thought we'd sorted them out. Yeah, had we had we sorted all yeah. of them out? Because one of them is Ray. One of them is Ray. One of them is Karen. Oh, and one of them is Loren. Loren. Of course. Yeah. Yes. So as long as Ray is a like. All right. Um. So, Horace, is that where we're headed? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, oh, Jesus. That is, that is very on fire. a bad day. The oh. city of Horace was in flames. I... Wives screamed for their children to run to safety, and men rushed to douse the fires that were destroying their homes. This is a good fire extinguisher noise. In the middle of the chaos were Gem General Samael and a handful of Imperial soldiers directing the relief effort. Loren and Saren ran up to him. Are we too late? Well, it's about time you showed up. Now, maybe someone can save this city. What's left of it, anyway? Doesn't this guy not like us? Um, yeah. I, I suspect he's gonna, like, fuck off as soon as he, like, sends us on the suicide mission. Oh, fair, yeah. Who did this? Where are they? I'm having a harder and harder time making this guy, like, every line be flirtatious. I I really like the, 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 like, the fact that... that, that... Saren's got it's like Saren's art, like he's got the the V and the abs and like there's lines and Loren is just like smooth. Yeah. Like there's there's it's yeah, she feature, is, it's a featureless landscape. Yeah, it's very um um Rob Liefeld. Yes. Like, like 90s erogenous zones. Well so smooth. so so here's here I I posit to you this. It's a, it's especially Rob Liefeld cuz we have never seen any of their feet. <sighs> So I'll pause it to this. That um, this is not, in fact, scantily clad armor, but that Loren is, in fact, wearing um, some kind of, like... Leather bodysuit? Like, full bodysuit that is that is flesh-colored in places. Right. Um, that Like that, skater's garb. Yeah! Like, like, she's... Yeah, she's wearing a figure skater's outfit. Yeah! A body sock, or whatever that yeah. word is. Um, because it's the only thing that that accounts for, um, like the notion that there are there are essentially no features or shadows. Yeah, and there's no shadows between her armor and her skin, which makes me think they're stitched together. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, right. Like it'd be it'd be hard to get into, but I bet there's a zipper in the back or whatever. Oh yeah, we've also never seen her back. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, that makes a lot more sense actually. Yeah. All right. It's I feel better about this. She is a figure skater. Yeah, whereas, whereas, I mean, Saren's got no excuse, like, right? Like, this is obviously, he's got a belly button. Yeah, no, that is, like, also, like, erotic slave man. Yeah. Um. All right. Like, Loren chose what she's wearing. An army of orcs. We were able to turn them away, but they're circling back around for another attempt to raise Horus to the ground. Orcs, you say? An army of them? And demons. The word warranted a scowl from everyone in the party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, oh, de yeah, like, that's how I react to demons. This card's sort of... Mm. Oh, is that possible? Orcs are tribal creatures like the nomads. Everyone looked at Amukiki, well aware that he had a deep insight into nomadic folklore. <laughs> And he's like, fuck you guys. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you! Orcs are like, Educate us on your culture. <laughs> You're basically an orc. Yeah. Educate us on your culture, and, and assume that this just spans to every culture that does not live in cities. <laughs> it is known that clans unite under a single banner when a great hero presents himself. Sounds about right. They're being led by a foul barbarian who's probably the great hero you mentioned. I feel like Samael says great hero in the same voice regardless of what side they're on. Yeah, like that... <laughs> he, he, like that's his job is grizzled commander. Yeah. Um, he is the person to whom you turn in your badge and your gun. I want to... I have an observation for an off-camera thing, but I really like that you put your beer down next to the coaster on my desk. <laughs> 
It's just no. It's like it's po. I don't really care that much. It's just poetic. Well, it's a nice. It's a nice like gaming coaster. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I will kick. He almost winced from hearing his people called barbarians. No shit, man. Not cool. But in the company of orcs, he could not deny that whoever led them was most likely worthy of the term. Does he? Does he have a scar over one of his eyes? Samuel evaluated the dwarven girl. For oh, she shot him in the eye. That's awesome. He does. She went silent and turned away. Lorraine unsheathed her swords in the next moment. <laughs> Let's take his head and scatter these orcs across the plains. Princess Lorraine, it is such a good idea to rush in headfirst. Oh, is it such a good idea to rush headfirst into an army like this? You have to look for an alternate strategy, because... Meeting them on a battlefield will only get you all killed. There are too many of them, even for me. We're just supposed to parley with these things. <laughs> it's like, we, why are we not killing them now? Don't worry. I'll think of a plan for us. For now, we should help out the town. Don't you worry. I'm a man. I'll do the thinking here. Loren nodded reluctantly, but then she did just that. Saren was left to come up with another way of stopping the orcs. He decided he should start by talking with the party members, since some of them knew about what they were about to face. Go to camp. Yeah, I assume. I'm <laughs> just like, great. All right. How do we want to do this one? I want to know why Dora shot that man in the eye. Fair enough. We'll start left or right. Or if she has a tragic love story related to him. Oh, that'd be even better. Dora? Uh, uh, uh what? I'm sorry, what's wrong? You look nervous about something. I ain't acting weird. You're just imagining things. I swear. Dora, there's no gaslighting in this in this camp. Well, that's actually not true. No, there's a lot, there's of, a lot of gaslighting in this camp. <laughs> this done. is... We've given up campfires for gaslights. Then how come you knew the barbarian had a scar over his eye? You know something about him, and I need to know it. I just know about him, that's it. Is he infamous where you come from, then? Her face contorted into a rare shade of anger. Something like that, yeah. What can you tell me about him, then? He deserves to die. There was a moment of silence after she said it. She meant her words entirely, and that took Saren by surprise. Why? He's a murderer? She blinked rapidly and looked away. It's the, the constant description of blinking. Yeah, no, everybody blinks. That is how they react to all things. My understanding is these people do not blink except as a remo an emotional response. So, of course. Did he kill someone you knew? Her eyes lowered even further, and she drew in a shuddered breath. <laughs> not just someone. Everyone. Wow, that's... Wow, why right? is she holding out on this? Tragic like, why backstory. wasn't she like, this fucker killed everyone I knew? <laughs> like, what? why the evasiveness? I know, I know. Awful sad. Just downright unfortunate. If I waste too much time thinking about what happened, I'll just go crazy. That's legit. We should be respectful of that. You have to tell me what happened. Alternately this. <laughs> why? No! Dora, I have to know everything about him if we're to take him down. She was quiet for a very long moment, battling herself for wanting to help get rid of the barbarian, but also not re wanting to relive whatever the horror he held for her. He was just passing through. My family offered him a home because no one else in town wanted to. We, we gave him Papa's bed for the night. This is not where I thought this uh, story was going. But then he wanted his Papa's sword too, but Papa wouldn't let him, so we just... And, and well, what do you think? Everyone tried to stop him, but he was unstoppable. That's all that can be said. I'm hungry. <laughs> I like Dora. That's when we find out the barbarian's name is Tom Stoppable. She quickly wiped one of her eyes and left the, for the campfire without another word. From her tragic story, Saren learned that Kroll was a dishonest person who only cared about getting what he wanted. <laughs> also, he's good at murdering lots of dwarves. And that he was a frighteningly formidable opponent. Oh, there we go. Alright. Uh, wow. So much learning. So much learning. Yeah. That That's... was a, that was a thing that just happened to all of us. Yeah. Alright. All right. 
So you are formulating a plan to rid Horus of the Barbarian. Have you tried speaking with Amrukiki? He is of their kind. Wow. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a good idea. Dick? Get to it. Dick. All right, Draco. We'll to Draco instead. So what do you think of Crow? What, what kind of question is that? You're so forward. It's just because he's a nomad who'd be tall and have huge muscles and be handsome. And he, he's evil, right? I can't think he's attractive. Not, not that I do, because that would be wrong. It'd be so very, very... Uh, this is getting really awkward. You were asking about battle plans, weren't you? No, it's, it's my fault. I will be more clear next time. I'm going to go hide under a rock now. Bye. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was worth doing. I, that almost made up for uh, a poem on the show. You wish to know more about nomadic culture. Mostly, I want to know if you know anything about this giant fucker that's killing people. Uh, yes. Are the orcs truly similar to the nomads? Jesus Christ, man. In some ways, not all. For instance, we're not orcs. Orcs live in groups, like clans, but there are no real leaders outside of an alpha who gets his way. But I have seen separate clans fall under the authority of a single alpha who has not only strength, has not only strength, What else besides strength? Intelligence. So Krull has united these orcs because he's not only deadly, but smart? So I figured they maybe should have gone with, hey, you should talk to Emukiki. Motherfucker knows a lot about orcs. Yeah. Because he appears to. <laughs> yeah, he knows shit about orcs. It's like, my people come into conflict with them regularly. Or, like, we, we trade with them. Or some shit. Not... Yeah, we sort of don't live in cities, so we're all You the have same. tribes. Orcs have tribes. You're the same. I like the fact that he's like, well, they don't really have tribes or clans. They just Yeah, he's like, no, of, you use that word because you don't know what that word means, you fucking idiots. They collect in groups. You have tribes, too. I believe you call them towns. Yes. Um, this is going to be much more difficult than I thought. For fuck. You're considering battle with them. Our choices are limited. We cannot fight them all and plan to survive. I haven't forgotten. So what do you suggest? I suggest that you die and the rest of us live. Hmm, Getting consider. rid of the army. That is not helpful. <laughs> However, it was. Saren was able to take his knowledge, his new knowledge of the orcs and use it to his advantage. Why is this scene happening? <laughs> this is the GM, right? It's like... Like, imagine the GM's like, oh, you have to go, you, you really should talk to these people. Yeah. Some of those people just tell you the right people to talk to. Oh, oh, okay, um, 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 okay, so you talk to the barbarian guy, and he's like, you must get rid of the army. And you're like, that, 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 what? That doesn't help me at all. It's like, no, no actually I, it's, it does. It's worse than that. It's a module, and he's mm, following it yeah, for a script, yeah, yeah. and they're rolling gather information and persuade checks yeah. and getting twos. Yeah. You should get rid of the army. Thanks. If the orcs were following Kroll because he was a great leader, he need only prove that he was not that great after all. Sure. Rannis. Contest. Got it. Door look off to you, or is it just me? I was going to ask you the same thing. She looks troubled. Yeah, she's been acting strange since we left the Amazon place looking all distant. And... No, that's just because she's standing farther from you. There's yeah. good reasons for that. Sarah nodded, but he already knew what was bothering her. Oh, good call game on, on picking up that we already talked to her. <laughs> now we just walk away from him. We're like, listen, yeah, you, you need to know. talk to HR, Ramus. <laughs> His pecs are so low. No, no, that that's that's the that's the rib cage six pack. <laughs> All right. it, it, yeah, it's that his his top abdominal is exceptionally wide dude you seek a non-violent resolution to this orc situation don't you nope there are those that you can talk things out with and those who need a good punch in the face to sort out in my opinion cha. good talk buddy good talk yeah thanks very useful <laughs> Sarah knew what was bothering Dora because it was literally him. Correct. 
Misfit's not my favorite character. Do you know anything about the orcs or the barbarian? Any hints you can give me? Kill him. Brutally. Is that your answer to everything? I, I'm trying to find a way to avoid fighting. You're saying a lot of words, but I don't understand what they mean. You can't avoid it. He wants to fight, and he'll get that fight. So when he does fight, kill him. Brutally. This is so brave. Now, like, brutally in, like, the, like, 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 vicious and cruel way or in, like, the, like, early 90s, like, brutal kind of way, like, really awesomely. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, against my better judgment, I'm gonna go talk to Kambara now. Yeah. No, I don't know anything about that barbarian or those orcs, and you can leave me alone. You you don't even have a suggestion for a plan I or suggest a, you go away. Or like a really <laughs> inappropriate sexual thing? I have a million suggestions, but they are all about you leaving me alone. You're not even you're not even gonna like threaten me with like sexual assault. Or be rude to me about my inexperience. Apparently that not. was very confusing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. That barbarian that the general described. Yes. What about him? I know him actually. We went to Elf College. Not simply know of him. Not quite. He was once a sword for hire. The elves often recruit mercenaries to help escort caravans outside the forest. I take it you were a mercenary too? No, I'm an elf. I remember this barbarian crow because he had the most garish scar across his face. He is a one-eyed swordsman and that fascinated me. We fucked. Yeah, totally. Hundred <laughs> percent. He's blind in one eye. Precisely. But this is no disadvantage. He is a complete master in battle. Actually, I fear that the world would I feel what the world would be like if he had a full pair. That's our most awkward sentence of the night, I think. Uh no, no, no. no I like it, it's I gonna think... chart. It'll chart. It'll but... chart. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You have a familiar gleam in your eyes. Why are you so interested in him? There is much to admire about him, but what, but what's worth even more is more admiration is the masterful elf that manages to take him down. Ah, he is another challenge for you. No, sorry, I meant I meant to go down on him. It's it's it's. Uh, but it's more my... than just simply being an obstacle to conquer. I have not yet finished my story. I and the other mercenaries. We're escorting a caravan to the Hammerlands. Oh, to Hammerhands. But we were ambushed. The troubling thing about Kroll is that he did not fend off the ambushers. Instead, it was clear that some carts would be captured. He switched sides completely. What? He set up that ambush? Believe it or not, I don't think so. He fought as many bandits as he did mercenaries that day. I think he just saw, saw an opportunity to take advantage of the situation. If you ask me, that's typical barbaric behavior. But he has no mercy in him. The workers are in the habit of surrendering their goods in exchange for their lives. I expect lots of no, I'm an elf, TJ. Curl took both. He also just dawned on me that his name is literally Cruel. Sir, a conqueror. <laughs> That's Call. That's Call the Conqueror. Oh, uh, Crawl. Crawl was the movie with the the three part boomerang. Oh yeah. Oh, I gotta watch that again. Saren was disgusted. A warrior who does not accept someone else's surrender is honorless. But he did learn that Crawl would take advantage of a situation if it presented <clears throat> himself itself. All right. Earth. That's a new way we can solve the problem at Horus without violence. It's unlikely. That's a free to that. Do you have any ideas? Why should we try to appeal them first? After they're not all demons, 
Ah, something else driving him. That should be a way of getting him to leave without fighting at a war. <sighs> Sorry, we're just getting close to Loren. <laughs> have you learned all that you can about our enemy yet? I'm still looking into it. Do you have any ideas? Well... Yes. Ask someone else for ideas. Yes, Majesty. Cold. I'm super curious about how your interactions with her play out differently if you play um, the girl. <clears throat> yeah. But not really? curious enough to play this game again. Uh, gods, no. Whoa! Saren quickly found Loren to tell her everything he had just learned. Together they conspired a plan to draw Cruel away from his horde. She or Oh, we're just doing this. Sweet. Done. She ordered Thank everyone God. to the outskirts of Horus as soon as possible. The Orc <clears throat> army was their destination. They need only fight enough to get Cruel's attention. As on other occasions, they could retreat in camp, but their enemies would be strong become stronger in the next fight. Cool. Game mechanics. I yeah, let's, yeah, let's just beat up a big pile of orcs. Yep. Seems great. <clears throat> All right. So our yep. party setup needs adjustment. Mm, yeah, definitely not her. Uh, Must be in the party anybody we want. Ooh, nice. So we don't have to bring Saren if we don't want to, but I think but we, we like, yeah we need to keep him leveling. I think we yeah we want to yeah I think leveling. we want standard standard yeah. Uh, uh, are orcs resistant to dark magic? Orcs shouldn't be. And, and mirth. yep, mirth. That's our usual setup. Yep. yep. The A team. Okay, yeah. Um, orcs are critically, critically weak to, to dark, dark magic. magic. Uh, this is going to go very well for us. Oh, I got super bad news for you guys. Uh, all right. Uh, let's start shooting that back row shame. Get him dead. Yeah. What are these? What are these guys? Uh, raiders. Warriors. And healer. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. the magic word right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, buff everybody. Oh, yeah. Yay. Um, they're resistant to fireball, but weak to water. Well, goodbye. Try this on for size. Um, mirth back row, whatever we get the slow. Oh, yep, right? slow on everybody, and that's basically the fight. Why are you doing this? Yeah, because these two guys are just legit dead. Because they're frozen, so they'll take yeah. thirty-seven damage. So I think we can just literally just stick the dude. Yep. Yay! Hooray! Another standard longsword! So many standard longswords. Alright, we've won uh, one battle and we're at 28%. Alright, attack a big work group. Run it back! Alright, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's two healers this time. Okay, well, uh, buff. Uh, yep. Yeah. Second verse, same as the first. I think next time maybe we get Saren to restore some of her SP. Uh, yep. Uh, water? Yep. Yes. Still doing great. Ooh, that... Oh, cure all. Okay, well, it's a good thing we can, uh... Damage you faster than you can heal. Yes. Also, you're all slow now. Uh, and slow now, again. uh, back row. Uh, yep. Yep. Ba that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Well, that was the end of that. Yep. Um, uh, this or guy, I guess, because the other the other two were frozen, so okay, they're gonna yeah. take extra damage anyway. Um. Yeah, she just yeah, she just kill that guy. And Saren, then Saren can... do you actually? Oh, he's uh, stunned oh, or you're paralyzed. Stunned. Yeah. Oh. Well, you can defend yourself. Well, no, we we're so close. Yeah, old quarter staff. Ooh, level up. Oh, level up. Ooh, yay. She gets a new, a new skill. Do we have, yeah, we have, we have top tier both of those. I guess what was, is, is there anything in Warrior that we want? Like more hit points, um, more threat. More threat? That's not bad. Power attack is an activated ability. No. Um... <clears throat> Knockdown, we have the first level of. 
Wide Slash is an AoE. Ooh, front line with 50. She does a lot of damage. That might not be bad to it's have. It's gonna take a shit ton of points to get in there, though. Yeah. Right, because when you get both of these up to the top. Yeah, like, it, it's... it's We're not gonna use it much, if ever. I guess that's the thing, too, is that we don't we don't go one, two, this, one, two, this. We go one, two, three, one, two, three, that. Do we? I don't know we have that much more gain. I don't think I don't think we do. I legit don't think we do. Also, what's that chop the head off? If uh, they're stunned. If they're staggered. Hit them with a critical hit. Great. Weaken them. If they're that's a lot of percents. If they're under fifty percent hit points and are not a boss, it has a fifteen percent chance of instantly killing them. Yeah, no, the, it's the first the first four words are hit enemy for critical hit. Fair. That is the thing that makes it worth maybe worthwhile. Fair enough. Yeah, let's take it. It's staggered, do a whack of damage. Yep. Uh, Alright. Attack a big orc group. 56% yeah. of our goal. Mm. Alright, Saren. Oh no, everybody's got full SP again. Uh, no, not. No, that, Loren does because she, she leveled. leveled. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, well. So there's no healers. These guys are gonna die so badly. Yep, you guys are just done. Uh, yeah, Saren, just do something useless. Just hit something in the face. Like they these have they guys have more hit points. Um, buff everybody. Okay, buff buff. Kill I storm everyone. everybody. I don't like you. Um Entangle everybody basically to death. Just stick them. Go team. Yep. Uh, a plus. A plus one. <clears throat> yep. Good work, everybody. Raises all around. 83% of our goal. And again. Uh, Second verse, same as the first. Yep. No healers. They're all uh, going to die horribly. I mean, even with healers, they're yeah, all going to die Yeah, but I mean, like, there's a chance horribly. that, like, if they've got healers or wizards, they can knock somebody down. Like, we have to think about it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and... She's, she can just hit them with a stick? <laughs> sure. Alright. Right. Who is, in theory, our heavy hitter for that one, because she's got the critical damage against them. Uh, wax them with a stick. Yep. The head of the their hundredth orc flew from its body and into the fi piles forming around them. The party had cut its way through too many orcs, and Krull was still nowhere to be found. I would like to point out that Samael was like, don't fight the army. They'll fuck up your shit. And we're like, whatever. Yeah, like, lol. How big is this army? Like, thousands? Because mm. thousands would be a problem. More but apparently a hundred is not. More orcs charge forward. <clears throat> In frustration, Loren simply called out the barbarian's name. Krull! Krull! <laughs> the approaching orcs slowed and split away to reveal a path. Krull had heard the call and was responding. Oh, <laughs> damn! Oh, damn. <laughs> I got this guy. <laughs> Please, go on. A tall, monstrous man showed himself with a scar over one eye and two massive war hammers in his hands. Can we talk about these hammers for a sec? Uh, Yeah, those are not war hammers. Those, those are mallets. They're mallets. Those these are, point, are mallets. Mallets with a point on the top. That yeah. is... Yeah. This is like... Someone had two textures and used them. <laughs> he said nothing for a long moment as God his army and Loren's like party are getting to me too. repositioned themselves defensively. He looked inappropriately amused. Oh, that smirk. This is 100% Ray's ex-boyfriend. Uh, yeah. Zero fucking question. Uh, yeah. You kill many orcs. You will disband your army immediately and face imperial punishment for your crimes. This was our plan? Ooh. His <laughs> smile only deepened. <laughs> I'm Kiki! What? racist shithead. <laughs> the gladiator broke from Loren's ranks and walked intimidatingly up to Krull. No, Mukiki was a large man. The other barbarian was much larger. They stared intently at each other, growling with their eyes. Then Amukiki spat at Krull's feet. 
The barbarian coursed with hot rage. He quickly whipped his weapons off his shoulder and impaled them on the ground. What is happening? I think they're going to fuck. I think so. And Mukiki did the same with his sword. They both proceeded to grunt violently at each other. What in the world are they doing? You are witnessing a primitive ritual of the nomads. <laughs> Damn the Mukiki. <laughs> Their charming but primitive behavior is uh, not unlike the apes we see in the jungle. Our, fr our friend has put Krull's armor to the t honor to the test, and like all barbarians, he would not refuse. So our plan was we did not have a plan. <laughs> yeah, clearly. That's will certainly give us an advantage without one-on-one -on -one fight. No. No, we fight as a unit. That guy's twice the size of us. You assume he'll rely only on his size to win. Let's not be foolish. You can't trust him. I, can't, I would like to point out that the game that this is a game that does not understand itself to the point where it's like, yes, the powerful barbarian. I'm like, you guys made this game. Our most powerful character is this guy. <laughs> There is no universe in this game where we're like, yeah, our baller tank is just ruining everything. <laughs> like, you want to play Dragon Age? You can have a Dragon Age game where Alistair just dominates. This game? Nuh-uh. Amukiki gets one turn, he hits one guy, and he moves on. Draco does like a thousand damage every time he goes. We should make Draco fight this guy. <laughs> Except if you kick Draco in the shins, he does fall down. Yes, that's true. Her voice cut through the tension as if they'd all forgotten she existed. Because they had. Because she hadn't been in the party for a while. Dora had tucked herself in the very back, as if not to be seen. Knowing her story, Sarah knew that Dora was completely right for any reservation she had. I agree. Then let's take him down now. <laughs> let's just fight him. Can we just can we just kill him? Have you seen the size of the teeth in all those orcs? No one's looking right at me and licking his chops. Lorin grumbled. And when Kiki returned to the group. The challenge has been accepted. One of us will die at dawn tomorrow. Ah, I'd say like eh, just cause you ain't sure you're gonna win. You got us by your side. If he doesn't plan to play by the rules, then neither will we. We'll all make sure the right person goes down tomorrow. There's a lot of innuendo going on with this guy. Yes, there is. No, let me fight him. No tricks. The group was silent for a moment from his request, especially Saren. This is not what he had in mind when he asked Abukahi to, to challenge Cruel. It was just supposed to be a way to get him alone. You think you can definitely win this duel? Because, I mean, Draco can kill you. Like, by waving his hands and mumbling. Me, me too, actually. <laughs> Loren, also very capable. It hardly seems fair if he just gets to kill him by himself. What about me? You're not that much better, brother. You must let us fight on our own. Otherwise, we are not men. What does this fight entail? Best not to ask. Mm -hmm. If you think you can handle him, then we can do this the clean way. Is this wise? I lay faith with the greatest warrior Grimoire has ever seen. Yeah, Draco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I believe you should too. Saren looked over at the gladiator and he stuck at his chest. Like, even Loren is better than Amukiki. Substantially. Right? The greatest warrior Grimoire has ever seen. Grimoire needs new glasses, though. We should really... We got those bifocals. Racist grandpa can see. <laughs> it seems we must for some fucking reason. They left for camp. Cruel kept the orcs at bay so they could feast on them in the morning. Great. Was, again, the D and D version of this is that you're like, oh, we have this plan. It's like, no, you you have to fight him one on one. Yep. yep. I imagined this thing, and you have to do it. 
No, I maintain that the, the DM is playing by the module. Mm, I think you're right. Like, like he is he is straight out. He's going out of the module. Yeah, he's like, first and time then you agree to fight the orc one on one. No, we don't. Yeah, but the module says you do. Please, there are on, many come. orcs in the army. The mo- how many? There are many. Oh, many. Um, We've killed like sixty of them. How many are left? The module says, li- "Listen, um, they were awoken by shouting." Dora, hey, Dora. Saren hopped up and quickly found a distraught Ramus. What's wrong? What happened to her? Shit, she's missing. Ain't nowhere, I tell you. By then, the entire group had formed around Ramus and began scanning the horizon as if to catch a glimpse of her. You've checked. You all think I haven't checked everywhere? When I say she's missing, she's goddamn missing. Very well, dwarf. Calm down. We'll make sure that she's found. Good shit, but could not! No. Ray was hunched against the ground looking for tracks. She just walked away. If she has gone that way, she is heading for the orcs. And cruel. Saren went quiet. It could not be coincidental. We need to save her. Well, why? I mean, I am 100% in on saving her. I'm just, I'm just... Curious why you assume she needs saving. (laughs) She's heading right towards danger. It's legit what we do. Everyone followed Dora's trail, and sure enough, it led right to the orc army in the nearby distance. The nearby distance? That's the, like I said, that sentence was going to rank in the top <laughs> for our most awkward sentence. We'll have to look for some other time. We have a duel to fight. Saren nodded and unsheathed his sword, hoping Dora was okay for the time being. Saren, you're not fighting the duel. Put that away. Put it away. You're useless with it. Basically here to, like, carry out They all found the spot where the two nomads had buried their weapons in the ground as a mark for their dueling location. Ray offered to hide away on a nearby cliff cliff to act as an immediate end to Kroll if the duel went sour. Saren took him up on this, knowing he had an excellent shot. (laughs) Aces. Actually, there's a really fun... There's a really fun, like, campaign set up in that, as if everybody's bought into this duel. You're like, alright, so you're doing this honor duel. How do you guys mess with it? Right? Like, that's a really interesting question. Yeah, what, like, okay, so this man, like, this man is going to do an honor duel. He has now left you. Start talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And whether, and whether the person on your side is, like, is, like, an NPC or, um, a player character, you, there's that, that bit of, like, okay, like, like, one of you is honorable, the rest of you are scoundrels. How do you cheat? There's a really interesting game in that. Uh, the orc army once again filled up the plains with a few decorated leaders standing next to Krull, who was waiting impatiently. I am ready. He raised his shield and slammed it with his sword. Loren nodded. Satisfied, he moved to engage Krull. Saren caught him by his arm just before he left. He stopped and turned. Be careful. His jaw moved, but he said nothing before again breaking away to start the duel. <laughs> I forgot what he looked like. <laughs> the orcs and Lorenz followers gathered around as both of the duelists stood by their weapons in the center. So so here's a question. The duelists bury their weapons in the ground. Mm-hmm. They walk away for the night. They come back in the morning. Yeah. Weapons still there. Yep. Weapons are still there. Amokiki's like I'm going to go do this thing. Slams his sword against his shield. Then, they come over here, and Amukiki pulls his sword out of the ground with a challenging glare. Wait, did he slam his sword against his shield? Yeah, it was a little ways back. There was a noise. Oh, okay. Keep going. Yeah. There it is. He raised his shield and slammed it with his sword. (laughs) Continuity error. Cruel grunted. Oh yeah. You're here acting like a nomad. You look like a nomad, but you don't look like a nomad. The cream rises to the top. Listen, you ain't no nomad. I'm a barbarian. I can tell you that I'm mad. You'll die. That... Dramatic. 
Very dramatic. With that, they're facing the right direction. At least. <laughs> With that cruel tour, his hammers from the ground and rushed toward Namukigi. He managed to deflect a massive strike. All watched as the two demonstrated why their people were called barbarians. Even though Cruel demonstrated greater strength and more brutal tactics, Amukiki somehow managed to hold his own, proving he had rightfully earned the title of Bear in Grimoire. Again, what kind of fight are we watching? So, <laughs> I, I dig this in the sense that, like, writing sword fights is really hard. Yeah. Like, like, writing an action scene in general mm-hmm. is one of those things where, like, in a game or a movie or whatnot, like, it's super, it's it's much more easy to, because to, you, you have yeah, a it's visual. Pu- it's purely visual. Like, nothing can happen for five minutes, and you're yeah. like, that was awesome. But it's like, well, you don't find car chases in books. Yeah. <laughs> but. He turned left sharply. Wheels skidded. It was very scary. Well, there's <laughs> there's actually a really interesting question about that. The, the 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 immediate thing that leaps to my mind is movie novelizations, um, and I know that Terry Brooks did the movie novelization for the Phantom Menace. Mm, um, with, like pod Terry, racing. Yeah, and and like there's a there's a huge ass pod racing scene in there that's like key to the whole thing, and I'm like, I bet there's a way to write that that where it's really like interesting and exciting, and, and it because because I mean like it is with uh, with like sword fights and whatnot. Yeah. It's, it's more about. The tension in the character. Yeah, the tension in the character. And you taught, there, there's conversation about strategy and anticipation yeah. and hope and, and, and the failure. kinds of challenges they, they encounter, right? Yeah. Like wounds or, um, in the case of pod racing, like malfunctions. And, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so, so, so respect to this game for trying to write a sword fight. The battle waged for what seemed like hours, but it couldn't have been no longer than a minute. Take, I take back <laughs> take back everything. Like, like props for trying, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> can we just? Can we just? I just. Wanna... I don't think the animation will play again, but. Uh. Nope. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Quickly, Ryan, I will fight you! <laughs> I will have my revenge. No! <laughs> Ooh, running low on stamina, Amuki tried a maneuver he learned only recently. He used his weapon to twist Cruel's hammers from their grip. Sorry, was started startled from recognizing his own move, seeing and from from seeing it executed so perfectly. It worked, and Cruel's hammers flew from his monstrous hands. See, that's really interesting. Where it's like, oh, I learned this new thing from one of my party members in our romantic encounter. Yes, <laughs> where we nearly killed each other. Yes, and then walked away. Listen, I'm an awkward person. <laughs> Cruel's hammers flew from his monstrous hands. He was defenseless. The gladiator raised his sword to take the kill. Cruel roared, causing orcs to break their ranks and swarm Amukiki. Saren's gasp was stuck in his throat at the sight. Then he looked up at the cliff, cliff hoping Ray's hand was steady. Loren had her weapon drawn and charged into the fray. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Amukiki yep. has to be in our party. Two. Oh, party oh. limit is three. We only get Saren, Loren, and Amukiki. All right, well, get your ass in the back row, brother. Yep. This is disappointing. Yep. <laughs> Suddenly, this fight is... Oh, no, it's three orcs. All right. Um, um, yeah, I guess we just... Yeah, we just start killing an orc. Yeah, they're all yep. the same. And buff. Yep. And defend. And this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then right. we just keep just open up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Does just ludicrous amounts of damage. Oh my god! He killed someone. <laughs> Saren's basically a pacifist. He's never taken a life. Uh, with a double, we can. Uh, um. Can we... Oh no! It's a knockdown, not a knockback. Jesus Christ. Right? See? Useful. Uh, Not that much more damage, but more damage. 
And his chances of awful things. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he is staggered. Yeah, that's how we can see it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just uh, get that going. Yay! Yay! Hooray! I'm a geek. He tried to defend himself, but there were too many. They couldn't kill an entire army by themselves. That's why we have wizards. Crossbow, cross bolts, cross bolts. I like it. I'm, I'm okay. Cross bolts. Pierce the sky, <clears throat> striking attacking orcs, but more just sprang up in their place. You call yourself a warrior? You fight like a coward. Krul grunted loudly, and the orcs retreated, but their damage had been done. Amukiki was bleeding from several wounds, but was still standing. I'm a great warrior. The best warrior in them those orcs know. The entire orc ar army started to howl menacingly to show their loyalty. The cacophony surrounded them, sending shivers through them, even Loren. They couldn't fight their way out if they decided to attack. The reality of the position was that, that they had put themselves in was all too clear. But the harmonizing of the orcs... Yeah, they no, they, they're really on pitch. Sure. Yeah. No, it's like it was, like it was sending shivers through everybody. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The uh, harmonizing of the orcs is my um, rock opera that only plays in the minds of Moria. Mm. Mm. Uh, was uh, disrupted abruptly mm. by a high-pitched yelp. All of them were silent as one of the orcs in the front lines keeled over. Dora pulled her knife out of the dead orc with a look that none of them had ever seen on her face. It was dark, it was serious, and truly sad. Oh, Muffin. You ain't a war warrior. You ain't... Her voice trembled and she stepped out of the orc ranks, shedding what must have been an orc disguise how tall are these orcs i don't know maybe she had stilts with me no more hiding i ain't gonna hide from you no more dora the dwarf woman held out her short knife and took t staggering steps toward him the orc started hissing at her but cruel gave no orders well you're just a little guy so what dora ran forward and plunged her knife into cruel's chest fuck <laughs> No one breathed a single breath as Krul looked down at the weapon impaled in him, then at Dora. He took the knife out and tossed it away without blinking an eye. Run! Leave! He's... Go! Oh. Krul scooped up Dora before her legs would let her move. She screeched as he lifted her from the ground. I know you. You smell like Dwarf Village. I snapped into some dwarves there once. Grinned, thinking about Dora's hometown. I didn't find you then. Unhand her, you flea bitten lard weasel. Ramus marched to Doris. I like that too. insult. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, that's legit. Lard weasel? His axe re ready. <clears throat> Ramus, no! Doris swiped at his face in distraction, landing only a mild blow. In the next second, a crossbow bolt whooshed past her and struck Cruel in the neck. He hollered and dropped Dora. Remus rushed over and helped her up, but she immediately and she immediately recovered her knife. Got a little Ramus and Dora thing. The orcs didn't like this turn of events and started screeching and pawing at the party, itching to kill them. Lorena wasn't pleased either. The orcs are going to overwhelm Amukigi. Fight Crow. That we, we yeah fight. yeah we like given that option. Yeah, why would we kill this guy? Yeah, we we kill the guy. Yeah. Loren and Saren ran at Crow with their weapons ready. This the barbarian had gone too far. What? <laughs> Dora attempted to stab Cruel as he tried to get the arrow from his neck, and in the next moment, the entire party was on top of him, trying to get a, get a piece of him. Still, the innuendo here is... Strong. Yeah, okay. Alright, Dora needs to be in our party. Okay, that's unfortunate. Agreed. Um, uh, uh, Kambara and Draco, then? I think... Oh, Mirth is really good. Mirth is really good, but Kambara... Uh, well, she goes before Kambara. Why don't you bring Mirth? I mean... Like, Dora, Dora's one of our best archers. Like, she's not bad, but... I don't remember the last time she shot something. Uh, not that I do, ago. that... We oh, did... yeah, her private mission. Yeah. She was pretty bad at Anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like, I think Mirth for the slow is gonna be super valuable. Could be. Uh, we have no idea what, uh, what his face is resistant to. Oh, he's weak to dark magic. Aww. Uh, 
And resistant to fire. But weak to water. Weak to water. Yeah, they're all weak to water. So, yeah, they'll all die horribly. Yep. Uh, he's 1,100 hit points. That seems like a lot. Let's, uh, uh, oh, there's a healer in the yeah, back let's, row. Let's carve that back row up. Uh, yep. Yeah, same job. Saren. Uh, uh, buff, get buff. buff on. Cure all, yeah, seems great. Ooh, ooh, Ron's hurting. Uh, ice, uh, like crazy. Yep. yep. And then she's got a water attack too, doesn't she? She has a water attack. She's also got a group heal, but I think we want the. So the yeah, like, no, she has air. She has. Uh, I think we want to try and get the slow. Uh, yeah, yeah. From Tangling Leads. And Mukiki. Get the uh, defend, yeah. Shield wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, That's alright. Well, Thora, guess what you get to do? You get bring her back up. Um, kill something. Heal. Yeah, Saren. Heal, uh... Run back up to full. Dora. Kill that healer. Ooh, what happened to our sidebar? Click, click on that guy again? What? There we go. Oh. Dora's got all sorts of nasty things you can do to him. He's stunned. Look at her right side. Oh, yeah, God. We don't even need half of this. Oh, actually, uh, her... Oh, that'll kill the whole back row? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, that's too bad. Because they were... fast! Uh, this guy's actually already dead. He dies on his, uh, right? He's frozen. Yeah, he dies on his next turn. Okay, so she just shoots him. Make her feel good about her life. Uh, Mirth. Um, he's already slowed, so we just go with the, uh, the air, I guess. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Why are you doing this? I don't know whose voice that is. A single shot, one. Right, yeah. It's weird backwards. Try this on for size. Uh, Theron, get that sword out, yeah. Then we just wail on him until he dies. Uh, yep. Yeah. Which is gonna be real soon. Yep. Yeah. There we go! Loren gets the kill shot. Hooray! Yay! Standard shit! Yay. Standard Warhammer and Warhammer. How exciting. Warhammer, better than standard Warhammer. Mm. The large barbarian hollered in pain and fell to one knee. You're a goddamn cheat. You got no honor. Silence. I ran at least a final blow and Cruel was permanently silenced. I asked that you let me fight him alone. <laughs> <laughs> he was, you were swarmed by orcs, you idiot! He already cheated. He was the cheater. If I am losing, then I die. You have taken my honor. Oh, for fuck's sake. Saren blinked, not realizing the same thing Amukiki's life would have offended him. Decreased! You can decrease affection! Oh! After Cruel was dealt with, the various orc leaders split off into several directions, breaking apart the army. They all scampered, scampered away. So that's why we might have taken orc hostages. Ah, leaving only the dead strewn about in the field. Yeah, I guess the the the, the distinction would be um, we would have had to fight him with Amukiki, right? Rather than Dora? Mm. Because Amukiki yeah. needs to finish the duel. A great sense of accomplishment flooded the group. Horus was now safe again. I would say we just achieved the impossible, but we have an even more impossible task ahead of us. This feat will pale in comparison. General Samael should be notified immediately. Also, shut up. Quest complete. Level up. So many level ups. All right. Mirth. Mirth gets oh, a skill ooh, point. Yay. Uh, so we get nature's touch, or so we get the... top tier, or top tier. Yeah, let's get. Swarm? Yep, that seems to Yeah, we don't heal enough to make it to good that really, she can, but yeah. We can we can wait. 
Uh, Kamara does not get any skill points. Oh my god, Draco gets skill points? Hooray! Uh, which More is next tornado. level tornado. Uh, Ramus. <laughs> Ramus punches things. That is what Ramus does. Uh, so what are we giving him? Um, I guess just resistances. Seems oh no, fun. we were gonna we were gonna bump his crushing blow, right? Like the the front row attack. Sure, we could give him that second tier crushing blow. We've no, we we uh, I was thinking we because we we've got the we can un we've unlocked the top tier rage. So next oh, okay. He, he gets the top tier one. Okay. Karen finally starting to climb out of that hole. We built for her, yep. Um, has a skill point. Sure. Well, what's her other two, uh, pile? These, these are useful, aren't they? Like a break. What about that? What about this guy? <laughs> oh, because we've given her all the way. Whirlwind. The yeah, there we go. That seems great. Yep. Uh, Ray. Um, what were we giving Ray? Yeah, we started giving him the Frost Potion. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if somebody is... Well, and, and like, th this this affects slowed people, right? So, people right. are typically slowed because we have Mirth, and Mirth slows people. Salazar... Who even knows? What are we giving him? Like we were working our way up to top tier dragon kick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's sure. Everything is garbage. He's terrible. Yeah. Paula Michelle gets a skill point and just um, gets new new something. Right, because we just gave him level three paralyze. Uh, so he's also got an AoE heal. He's got a heal over time. I don't think we really need it. No, I'm no. I'm intrigued that he has it. So we have water and fire. Um, sure. Um, fire? Sure, make him a shittier... Uh, a shittier version of Draco, yes. And trouble. Just gets more strength. Back in the city, the homes that were once burning were now being rebuilt. Wow, that's quick. Not yeah, only well, by no, note the giant magic thing in the sky. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, wait, no, because that doesn't track with uh, not only by the help of the Empire soldiers, but by Elven Rangers as well. And he, together, the two sides helped fix what the demons had too easily destroyed. My men told me that the army had dispersed. I could hardly believe it, but they're gone. Not one blasted orc to be found. Oh, sorry, I was just noticing uh, Pippin. No, Pippin Souser, uh did not get lost on his way to Mortal Kombat. He is uh, frequently found um, doing uh, combat in alleyways, occasionally uh, avenue battles. Yeah, Souser got... Um, he's, he's on a stopover on one of his flights uh, for a street fighter. Uh, it, was more, it was more difficult than we imagined, but it's over now. That man will terrorize no one any longer. I said I would deal with him, and I have. I suspect the council will recognize this. Yeah, I'll personally vouch for your leadership. I didn't think I'd say that, believe you me. He gave the group an elusive grin because they had just killed like a hundred people. Still a lot to get done down here. If you could lend a hand or ten, this town would be obliged. Loren nodded and directed everyone to help do what they could in cleaning up the town, healing the wounded, and restoring homes. It was in this time that Saren came to realize Loren's charitable side. It was hard to consider her a selfless person by her serious, even harsh way of speaking and acting. But like watching the bit her where in he action, murders his comrades. But watching her in action outside of battle showed him that there was a whole side to her that she tried hard to conceal. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. It's when the Nazi saves the kitten. Yes. Uh, being Amazon royalty did come with certain expectations he supposed like owning slaves mm. 
but it was more than just learning to find out the what about more killing them for sport? Do you think learning. that's an expectation that she was just like living up to the demands of her position? Mm. She was actually becoming a better person. Mm. Even just in the brief time that they had spent together, which seems like forever, he saw growth in her. And even in himself, for that matter. Wink. But it was Loren who would one day be Amazon Queen and the leader of the world's greatest army. As far as Saren was concerned, she was born ready. Wait, wait. Leader of the world's greatest army? Yeah, the, the, what, that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to prove that we should lead the army of the elves and humans oh, I thought against this was Foster Lager. Uh, yeah, I, was, I, I thought this was implying that she was going to lead the greatest army once she was queen, thus the Amazons were the greatest army. Oh, well, I mean, and just, they haven't... just ask her. Fair. But they haven't even shown up to this. Yeah, no. They're...